How's it going everyone? This is DJ. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to install the latest version of Dig Xena build for Kodi 21.2 Omega. Now if you're not familiar with Digs, it's one of the top rated and most used Kodi builds out there and it offers different types of builds that will suit anybody's needs. In this video we will be installing the free version since that's what most people are looking for. So without any further ado, grab your remote and let's get right to it. Alright, so now before we begin, I assume they already have Kodi installed. If you don't, I will put a link in the description below, or you can just click on the top right corner here and follow my video on how to install Kodi. And once you're done with that, then you can just continue from here. Alright, now the first thing we need to do here is we're going to go to the gear icon. We're going to click on there. You're going to go down to the system, click on there. And in here, we're going to scroll down to add ons. Gonna move to the right, then go down where it says unknown sources. Click on there to enable it and select yes. All right, press the back button once. And in here, we're gonna go to file manager. Click on there, go down to add source. And it's already highlighted on none, so we're gonna click on there. And in here, we're gonna add this following URL. All right, just make sure you type this correctly. Take a second, double check everything. Then once you're done, click OK. And as you can see, it already gives us a name over here for the repository. If you want to change it, go ahead, but you can leave it the way it is. Click OK. And now we're going to press the back button once. In here, we're going to go to the right to add-ons. Click on there. We're going to scroll down to install from zip. Select that. Go down to Dig's repo, or unless you named it something else, and select that and click on it. And select that repository here. Click OK. Give it a second. We got the notification that's installed. Now we can go up where it says install from repository. Click on there. Go down to Dig's repository. And we're going to scroll down to program add ons. Click on there. And the first one is Chef Omega. Click on there and select install. Click OK. And just give it a second till we get the pop up. There's going to be three of them. And as the screen blinks, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't worry about it. And there we go. We got the first one. And this is the change log. You can just click OK and we'll close this window. And now we got the question over here if we want to install a, a build we're going to select yes now, as you can see here this is the new build menu a little different than the previous one you got your debris version which is if you have a real debris or a premium service this is the one you want to select and then you got the xenon free this is what we're going to use today but also as you notice below it there's the server too now these two are both the same. We're going to use the first one, but if for some reason, let's say your ISP is blocking this, then you can use the next link over here, which is the same thing. It's going to download the same file, but it's just a different server. All right, so we're going to click on CDOM free here. Select continue. Now this is not going to take too long. It also depends on how fast your internet connection is. Let's give it a moment. All right, it's almost there. All right, it's going to delete some files, and then it's got to extract the files that it downloaded. It's going to fast forward this a little bit. All right, almost there. Now it's going to ask us to force close Cody. 
We're going to click OK here. Brings back to the home screen. And all you got to do is just click on Cody again to launch it. This will bring us right into Xenon Free. A little different. You don't have to select track logins or anything like that. It's only one skin like here. And that's about it. Now, when it comes to Cody and Cody builds, you have to be very patient, especially with the builds here. When you first launch it, you want to sit and wait a few minutes because as you will notice now, it's going to be updating some of the add-ons and some dependencies. So you don't want to start moving around and searching for movies or TV shows. Now, in the same time, it may crash on you while it's doing all the updating, which is fine. No need to worry. Just launch Cody again and it will just finish up whatever it needs to update again. And pretty much that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here and it does help my channel grow. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.